Hello everyone, and welcome back. I'm going to be showing you all the different texts that I have found over the time I've been playing on each different kaiju. Now what I mean by tech is some sort of technique that you can use against your opponent to either confuse them or to give yourself an advantage. For example, this could be using your special 2 or special 3 as G2000 waiting for the opponent to block and then using the one that you haven't used to guarantee a hit. Just a quick tech you can do with every kaiju is baiting blocks. Now what I mean by this is doing a specific attack to force or bait your opponent to block and then follow up with another attack once they stop blocking to guarantee a hit. Now with that out of the way, let's get on to our first kaiju. Unfortunately, because G2000 is so simple, the only tech I could find with him is to bait someone's block with either a special 2 or a beam and then do the latter. You can also do this to bait out someone's block so you can do an ultimate. Thanks to Tornado for showing me this, but while flying as Gigan, if you fly over someone, special 2 and then immediately turn around in special 1, you can get a good 100 damage off in case the enemy doesn't see it coming. Just watch out if you do it more than once though, because the enemy may realise what you're doing and see it coming. A nice trick you can do is to special 1, wait for your opponent to block it, and then immediately special 3 or special 2. If they continue to block, then special 3. If they react quick enough and stop blocking, then special 2. Either way, you're getting a free combo unless they manage to roar in time. For Zilla, you can bait out someone to block by beaming them, and then once they stop, immediately dive bomb them for a free combo. While you have your ult charged as Zilla, it lights up your dorsals, which can make it considerably more difficult for the opponent to see if you are about to beam or not, if they don't rely on either the animation or the sound effects that you do. A block bait that you can do with Siren is to do your beam, wait for them to unblock, and then immediately do your special one to guarantee a hit. When beaming a siren, there is no audio cue for your opponent to rely on to know when you're beaming. Instead, they have to look out for the particle effects that start. Standing in your static cloud can mostly mask this particle, as they are a very similar particle effect. Another small trick you can do is to use the momentum of your special 2 to be able to bounce off of certain objects around the map. This can include the dice in Dice Park, or certain bits of terrain that slope upwards. While beaming, if you walk closer and closer to your enemy while they're blocking, if you're able to get close enough, you may be able to special one them. Don't do this all the time unless you are considerably close to the enemy, as most of the time they are able to move out of the way. Another small thing you can do to make your special 2 hit is to melee and then immediately special 2. Usually this does catch the opponent off guard as they are expecting you to do another melee. You can use your missiles to bait a block from an opponent and then immediately beam them once they stop. If they decide not to block your missiles, then if you do two batches instead of one, you are usually able to immediately special one and catch them off guard and get in a free combo, as the stun times are just long enough. A small trick you can do to get in some free ship damage is to use both of your melees and then run towards your enemy and then use your third melee. The extended hitbox of the third melee usually grabs the opponent, and as it goes through blocks, it is really good for some free chip damage. If someone is beaming you as Kong, if you block and then unblock mid-beam, and then hold your axe charge, you are able to charge your axe without taking any of the residual damage. 
Sorry if the video was a bit short, as unfortunately I wasn't able to find many texts for each kaiju. If I find any more, I most likely update this video so it stays consistent with the latest patch. But anyways, that's the end of the video now. Goodbye.